But for this first lick, let's take the right hand lead inverted parallel thing with the kick drum at the end. First, of course, I'll just play the whole part on the snare drum, making sure the accents and ghost distorts are consistent, the flow is smooth, and my body is relaxed. Next, I'll orchestrate it, moving the right hand accent to one of the toms. Dudes, Nate beaming in from the future to let you know that what I'm presenting to you right now is the third and final installment in my completely reproduced, reshot, three video mini course. And as I did with the first two, I'm gonna share the first half of that with you on YouTube. If you wanna get the entire video plus the transcriptions completely free, all you need to do is click the link below this player and enter your email address in on the next page. Also, you may notice during the video, I make some references to my coaching program and my coaching partner, Jacob Evans. From time to time during the year, we do open enrollments for our coaching program. If it happens to be that time of year, you can also get information about that coaching program at the same place where you can get the full length video. Single link, made it easy for you. Just click the link below the player. All right, let's get on with the show. Ahoy! Welcome to the third installment of this series we're calling Things Great Drummers Do Better and How to Do Them. We've covered what I call playing clean. We've covered playing in time. Now it's time for the third category. Why do we need three categories? Because you can play very cleanly and have great groove and pocket. And you could avoid the third category entirely just by only playing grooves. And I meet a lot of drummers who do this. So we need another category for how you make sure you play something in the moment and authentic when it's time to play a filler solo. But then when you listen back to the recording, it's still clean and in time. And this could be a tricky one because not everybody wants to play like these guys. I mean, I sure would. But that's not the only valid way to play solos and fills. This is valid too. So is this. So is this. So we need a concept that encapsulates all these drummers, but still acknowledges it's a skill you can learn. My friend and coaching partner Jacob calls it flow, and he's obviously not the first, but his and my favorite analogy is language. Once you can speak a language, you can say whatever you want. How much is a cup of coffee? But there's a process to learning it well enough that you can speak it without thinking too much, or just repeating the same few words. And getting you on track for basic fluency is our aim here. As I say in my coaching video, the aim is to be able to improvise, not memorize, something like this. And today I'm gonna to focus on the three core skills to improvising. First, there's vocabulary acquisition. That's when you're actually learning new or novel things to play. Next, there's application, where you take a basic shape or concept and apply it around the kit, changing certain parameters, but keeping the basic shape the same. Then there's improvisation practice, where you take the training wheels off and stop worrying about sticking or what you're supposed to play and start just making phrases. I'm gonna take you through these three stages with two basic licks and then an intermediate one. The basic lick is this. Let's go to the kit. There are a bunch of things we potentially could have played, and I generally categorize them in terms of the underlying rudiment. So there are things based on singles. Diddle rudiments. Flams. Etc. 
But for this first lick, let's take the right hand lead inverted paradiddle thing with the kick drum at the end. First, of course, I'll just play the whole part on the snare drum, making sure the accents and ghost distorts are consistent, the flow is smooth, and my body is relaxed. Next, I'll orchestrate it, moving the right hand accent to one of the toms, the bell of the ride cymbal, the closed hats, etc. I'll work on playing faster and maintaining smoothness. The second crucial stage is to stair-step you to improvising this lick. It's one thing to show you this and then say, good luck, but our aim is to build a bridge or a ladder. So we want to introduce a little choice into the exercise. For now, we'll do that by giving you a second option. The second lick is this. Now, some of you already know what I'm gonna say. Your first assignment is to improvise switching between these two idioms. The first, and the second. Let's make some cool phrases by alternating. To start off with, I'm not gonna worry about keeping things in four or keeping a bar line in my head. I'm just gonna make phrases. First, I'll start on the snare, then I'll move on to the toms and other surfaces. I'll play slower to faster. Now I'll start playing it in time, but not trying to keep any particular meter. I'll put a metronome on quarters and just try to stay with that pulse, regardless of the length of the phrases I'm making. Now it's time for the second half of incorporating these phrases into my improvisation, something I call the looping exercise. The looping exercise forces us to put something in time in a meter, but allows us to stop the clock on full improvisation. Essentially, we get to invent an original lick and then repeat it as many times as we need. We'll put the metronome on quarters in four and I'll start. I choose one of my combos of three and four beats and just loop that. I can vary the dynamics, but I have to keep the loop. Okay, now here's the fun part. When it comes time to switch, I switch. Between those two bars, it's pure improv. Now I have a few repetitions to make my next shape perfect. Like I wrote it down, but I didn't. I improvised it. The more times you loop, try to shorten the number of repetitions.
final step is to switch to pure improvisation in meter with these two idioms. Now let's talk about exactly how. And that's where we're gonna end the YouTube portion of this video. Just a reminder, if you like the rest of this video, which is almost 15 more minutes of instruction, plus the transcriptions to everything, all you need to do is click the link below this player to get that. Dudes, as usual, always really enjoy these. Hope you guys dug this one too. If you're interested in this, I hope you'll click the link below and grab the whole thing. Either way, it's all good. See you guys again real soon in another lesson of the week.